Hey, good morning. Uh, Psalm 49, verses 14 through 19 says, Like sheep, they are led to the grave where death will be their shepherd. In the morning, the godly will rule over them. Their bodies will rot in the grave far from their grand estates. But as for me, God will redeem my life. He will snatch me from the power of the grave. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become ever more splendid. For when they die, they take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them into Mommy. the grave. Mommy. In this life, they consider themselves Mommy. fortunate and are applauded for their successes. But they will die like all before Mommy. them and never again see the light of day. You know, one of the things that has caught my attention during the Russian invasion of Ukraine is the action of the Russian oligarchs. These are men who have profited off of the collapse of the state-controlled Russian infrastructure back in the 1990s and beyond. And they ruthlessly compiled their wealth while many Russians faded into poverty Many Russians living well below what we would consider the poverty line in America, while these few men, just a handful, compiled empires worth billions and billions of dollars. And all of these men aligned themselves with Putin to retain their power and their influence. And since the invasion of Ukraine, they have all refrained from condemning Russia's attack, probably for fear of reprisal from their leader. However, the world hasn't been shy about acting against them since they have been so influential in Russia's <coughs> policies and politics. EU nations and the U.S. have ordered the seizure of any funds, lands, or other assets, yachts, things like that, that are kept within the boundaries of these nations. The oligarchs have fled their, in their massive yachts to tiny nations with no extradition treaties like the Maldives, where they're hiding out. They've attempted to distance themselves from the ongoing conflict without condemning it publicly. But they've missed one key point, and it comes from this passage out of Psalm 49. They've missed this fact. They will all die. Just like every Ukrainian, every, every Ukrainian man, woman, grandfather, grandmother, child, just like they've lost their lives, those that have died, every single one of those Russian oligarchs will die. Their wealth may help them flee temporarily, but it cannot protect them from their day of judgment, which is coming. The only thing that can protect us from our day of judgment that's coming is a relationship, a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. It's a day that we will all face and will answer for every thoughtless word or deed. Pray with me. Lord, I ask that you would remind me of the fleeting nature of life and to take seriously the time that I have here, the time that you have given me to serve you faithfully. Lord, I pray that this day you'd help me to remember of the lasting effects of my decisions. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. We'll be traveling today. Pray for us. Pray for the church. Harry Bowman, who's preaching today. We'll see you again soon. God bless you.